Topic. Introduction. Hardware Considerations. Software Considerations. Human Factors. Crew Operating Procedures. Flight Crew Training. EFB Management. Introduction. Electronic Flight Bags, EFB, is defined as an electronic information system for flight crew which allows for storing, updating, delivering, displaying, and slash or computing digital data to support flight operations or duties. Introduction, Cont. The following features are not considered as EFB functions and, unless airworthiness approved, should not be hosted on an EFB. A. Displaying information which may be tactically used by the flight crew members to check or control the aircraft position or trajectory. Introduction, Cont. B. Displaying information which may be directly used by the flight crew to assess the real-time status of aircraft critical and essential systems. C. Communicating with air traffic services. D. Sending data to certified aircraft systems other than those certified for that intent. Hardware considerations. Types of EFB EFBs can be either portable or installed. Hardware considerations for installed resources. Mounting devices. If the mounting is permanently attached to aircraft structure, the installation will be approved in accordance with the appropriate airworthiness regulations. Hardware considerations, cont. The mounting method for the EFB should allow easy access to the EFB controls and a clear unobstructed view of the EFB display. Stowage. When an EFB is stowed, the device and its securing mechanism should not intrude into the flight deck space. Hardware considerations for portable EFB. Portable EFBs can be used as either handheld equipment or mounted in a fixed or movable mount attached to the aircraft structure or temporarily secured. Physical characteristics. The size and practicality of the EFB should be considered as the device may be not cumbersome for normal use on a flight deck. Readability. The EFB data should be legible under the full range of lighting conditions expected on the flight deck including direct sunlight. Stowage. All handheld EFBs need to be stowed during critical phases of flight to ensure the safety of the occupants of the flight deck. PG-10, Software Considerations. EFBs allow the use of multiple software applications. EFB functions cannot be used as a source of information to satisfy airworthiness requirements. Software considerations, cont. EFB functions whose failure, malfunction, or misuse would have adverse effect on the safety of flight operations, e.g. increase in flight crew workload during critical phases of flight, reduction in functional capabilities or safety margins, are considered to be essential to the safe operation of the airplane. Human factors. The review of the complete system should include but not limited to general considerations including workload, usability, integration of the display and lighting issues, system shutdown, and system failures. Physical placement issues, including stowage area, use of unsecured EFBs, design, and placement of mounting devices. Human factors, cont. Three considerations for interference with aircraft controls, anthropometric constraints, outside vision, view of other flight deck displays, oxygen mask access, egress, crew ventilation, and speaker sound. Four training and procedures considerations, including training on using EFB applications, operations EFB documentation and policy, fidelity of EFB training device. Five hardware and software considerations. Crew Operating Procedures General 
the operator should have in place procedures for using the EFB in conjunction with the other flight deck equipment. Revision and update. The operator should have a procedure in place to allow flight crews to confirm prior to flight the revision number and slash or date of EFB application software including where applicable, database versions. Crew Operating Procedures, CONT Workload and Crew Coordination In general using an EFB should not increase crew's workload during critical phases of flight. For other flight phases, crew operating procedures should be designed to mitigate and slash or control additional workload created by using an EFB. Flight Crew Training Training should be in accordance with operator standard operating procedure, including abnormal procedures, and should include An overview of the system architecture Pre-flight checks of the system Limitations of the system The use of each operational software application Flight Crew Training, CONT Restrictions on the use of the system including when some or all of the EFB functions are not available. The conditions, including phases of flight, under which the EFB should not be used. Procedures for cross-checking data entry and computed information. Flight Crew Training, CONT Human Performance Considerations on the Use of the EFB Additional Training for New Applications new features of current applications, or changes to the hardware configuration, and recurrent training and proficiency checks. EFB Management The operator should have an EFB management system in place. For an operator, the role of the EFB manager is a key factor in the management of the EFB system. The EFB manager is the key link between the operator and the EFB system and software suppliers. EFB use in general aviation operations. The EFB system does not replace any system or equipment, e.g. navigation, communication, or surveillance system, that is required by other aviation regulations. EFB system on board the aircraft displays only information which is functionally equivalent to the paper reference material. EFB use in general aviation operations, CONT. A secondary or backup source of aeronautical information or paper reference material necessary for the flight should be available to the pilot in the aircraft.